Sixty-seven dollars a month. Huh? But I've had it for three years now. I've been acquired a conscience like a couple years ago. Either you can shut your mouth, or we can go to the back over here and may the best punk win. You are a sight. Oh my gosh, you are gorgeous. You. Yes, Matt. Nice Hello, to meet you. you. Thanks for having me. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be here. Okay, I'm happy that you're happy. Yes, I like the red on you. Like it's very vibrant, right? Yes, like you are like, oh my gosh, like you probably just turn heads everywhere you go because you're yeah. so gorgeous. A smidge, I try. Yes. Be careful when you come in. Okay. Have like a super okay. So this is just your place? Yeah. It's okay. just I'm holding some things for some friends, so it's kind of like a mess. Oh my gosh, no, it's nice. <laughs> Bigger than my place, oh my gosh. It's cute, it's one bedroom. I was 18 when I first went to prison and I wanted to make a name for myself. And that, that was my that was my mission, and I did. By the time I got released that first time, I had already, they knew who the hell I was. Like in prison, like a lot of people looked at me as like the homegirl, you know what I mean? They knew what I was, they, and they understood it, and they respected it. And because if they didn't, then we'd, we'd go that extra phase and figure out what we're gonna do about it. We can do one or two things here. Either you can stretch your mouth, and deal with it, or we can go to the back over here and may the best punk win, you know what I mean? And it's my nephew, um, Michael. Hey, how are you? Oh, sorry, I want to turn the camera on you, I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you, Matt. And I see, look, it's, it's the one bedroom, it's cute. It is, it's, oh my gosh, you have such cute kittens, too. Yes! And then that's the closet, just got all the shoes. Congratulations. Thank you. This is so nice. $67 a day, I mean a month. $67 a month? Huh? How, so how'd you get that? Um, through a mental health program, ODR. Okay. Yeah. They see me as a frequent flyer going in and out of jail, so they're like, hmm, we should offer her program. I'm not a bully. I've never been one. And I'm not into jumping people. I'm a strong believer. If you open your mouth, you need to have hands to cover that. If a homosexual or, or, or anything that's not straight loses the fight, what's the first thing they say? Oh, well, it figures. You know what I mean? Well, no, well that's, that's to be expected. But they're not used to that. Damn, what? Who did what? You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. But yeah, I would tell the boys. I would tell them straight out. I will end your whole career, honey. You would be rolling up by the end of the evening. Every time I would get into a fight, I always had in my mind, don't get laughed at, and fight the fight like it's your last fight, like it's your very last fight in the world. This fight matters that much. So every fight that I would go into, every fight that I do go into, I think that. It's cute, I've had it for three years now. Wow, yeah, it looks all moved in and nice. You got a nice big TV and stuff. Yeah, at first I didn't like it because, um, I didn't want to like it because it was far from Hollywood. Oh, okay. But, uh, I said, oh well. I have like over 130 pairs of shoes. But he has like these ones and the ones behind the door. Hey, and the, this this is your boyfriend? Yeah. You said of five years? Yeah, of five years, yeah. Boyfriend slash husband. Slash, well, husband. You call him, you call him your we'll husband. I call him a husband, yeah. But he's technically your boyfriend or whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, because it's not like legal or whatever, but yeah. he likes me to call him a husband. Oh, and he lives here too? Yeah. Where's he at, where's he at right he now? Went, he went on a little field trip, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> he went, cool. He went to Hollywood to go visit a friend, but um, nice. he should be coming back soon at some point. <laughs> what's his name? Are you um, Gio. Gio? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. You look so happy together. <laughs> yeah, it's been five years. Did you meet him in jail too? or? No, I met him on the street. So he was one of your clients? Uh, no, actually I met him, I had just got out of prison. Uh -huh. and, um, I was walking down the street to go mail a Dear John letter to the dude that I was with in there. Funny thing, I never made it to the mailbox because I seen Gio and Gio was like, Gio was walking down the street. He, this is like 2.30 in the morning, mind you. And he's like, um, so how you doing? I was like, I'm doing, what's up? Love. <laughs> and it just like went back and forth. And then I went back to his room with him and and it was another friend there and, and we had some plans to do some some things. Yeah. And, um, and everything worked out great. He was about his own coin, so that was good. So the next day he moved in. Did he know you were trans too when he first met you? Yeah. yeah. So, and he was obviously- he was, like, he was like all for it. I love that. Yeah, I know. That was it, that was that was amazing though. Um, is that something that you have to deal with, like meeting people? Like, are they gonna like me if I'm like trans? Like, you worry or? if it's ever gonna be serious. Like, you can't really take anything, everything too seriously because a lot of them are just they're fascinated. There are some people that are just fascinated with the whole transgender thing, so they just want to like be a part of it and see what it's about. And then there's people that are genuinely into transgenders that you know are looking for a relationship or or something more. And then there's individuals that when they get 
a taste of it. Some some live it, love it, and the fast pace. And it's, if it's a working girl that they're with, it's going to be a fast pace, a lot of money in and out. You know what I mean? So it's like um, when they see that, some of them will either shy away from it or because it, like it's too much for them. Because really, you're asking your dude to be faithful to you when you're getting ready to go with another dude every night. You know what I mean? It's kind of your job, but right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, it's kind of like I never looked at it like that until afterwards. I was like, "Wow, what a bitch!" Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you want them to be faithful and everything, but I'm getting ready every night to go out with somebody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I I, I never really felt bad about it at the time. I'm, I barely acquired a conscience like a couple years ago. Like I was walking around the world with like absolutely no conscience. I didn't. I did not give two fucks about nothing, about nobody. Didn't care. The female hormones is what calmed me down. Had I not taken a hormone, I would have still been just as hard as the next person. But they just female you out. You know, what I mean? they take away your muscles. And I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like how long where you, is how, the muscle? <laughs> how long were you doing hormones for? I didn't start them at a younger age because I was terrified that they were gonna make me go insane. But little did I know, I was already nuts. So you know what I mean? So they just kind of like leveled me out. Like when I would take them, like. Some girls, they can't take too much because it, it'll freak them out or, or messes with their sex drive or, or whatever. Like, there's plenty of, of things that can happen, blood clots, anything. There's a lot of risks that, 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 can, that can happen. But me, myself, my journey, like, it didn't affect me that way. It just heightened everything and, and just broke down all the muscle. Which is good because when I was working out, going in and out of prison, I had a body like a greyhound and that is not fishy. Do so, you really? Because I mean, your arms now are very like lean. They're like, no, yeah, no, they're it's like, fucking amazing. It's fantastic. When you and Gio started dating, is that when you stopped walking the streets and stuff? Um, no, we entertained it for a while and then brought him into the into the into the equation, and then it got to the point to where the Johns would would pay for a show to watch you guys. Right. So that was convenient. That was so fantastic. That, that sounds like a deep. A I mean, dream. hello, let's get paid to have sex. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was even more, that was even better. And then every now and then, so then our slogan was pretty much either you can be part of the best show you'll ever see or you can see the best show you'll ever see. But you guys don't do that any longer. I will never turn down a, 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 a coin. An interested coin, you know yeah. what I mean? But, um, but as far as like walking, walking the street, like that type of it, no. No, um, everything's done on the internet now, which is quite convenient. I don't ever say that I'm not ever going to do something again because I just leave the door open for possibilities. Who doesn't want to make money? So a lot of your friends live in Hollywood, you said? My stomping grounds for quite a while have been in Hollywood. Like, I mean, I've been out there for 28, 29 years. I lived in every hotel, every motel. It was crazy, it was crazy, it was just really wild. Um, and then I went back out there after my knowledge and my education, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my education in prostitution, no, um, yeah. um, and, and it was even better. It was even better because I didn't have to hide that I was a transgender. I didn't have to tell to keep telling them that I was a female and have to risk that, you know what I mean? Cause some, I mean, cause if I didn't realize it then, but you know, i um, I think about it now and maybe it's cause I'm getting older. I'm not sure. People are going to get upset. You're, 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 you're lying to them. You know what I mean? So it's like, and, and some people are really, they're just not, they're not gay or they're not um, bisexual or they're not, you know what I mean, they're just, they're there for a woman and, and they get really devastated and hurt and some people take things into their own hands into a very violent, violent way. I've had, I've had some violent ones, I've had several violent ones um, when I was in North Hollywood. It's so interesting because it's like trans women are women, right. but, I, but I hear what you're saying too about like they think they're getting... They think they're getting a coin purse, but they're not. Right, right, so then they're <laughs> like, but then a guy that's into trans women is still straight. Yeah, uh, that's what I think. I think that they still are. When they start twisting and twirling, that's a whole other issue, but um, they're still going out with the illusion of a female. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what's turning them on. So I don't see, you know what I mean? I could, you know, a lot of people probably don't share my, my, my same um, opinion, but that, it's my opinion. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't think that they're um, gay per se. Cause, so does, does Gio consider himself straight? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just interesting to me. That is interesting. That's an issue. Question. Like, if someone who dates a trans person, are they in the queer community or are they not in the queer community? Well, he is. He's very much in, in the in the queer community. Like, he's very he's an advocate. Like, he's all for that. Like, he's all about the the gay rights and, and things like that. So. Are you the first trans woman that he's dated? As a serious serious relationship, yes. Interesting. You know, he's dabbled here and there. He's had his he's had his, he's had his share of fruits. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. He's young, so he's younger than me, so. How old is he? He is 17 years younger than me. Oh my gosh. But again, you look 17 years younger than you actually are, so you probably- <laughs> He's actually look, 30. You look the same age. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm gonna die trying. Mac makeup is wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, yeah, so I'm, can I see your makeup? Uh -huh. I'm just- Oh I'm, my god, this I wish I would've just came for your makeup routine, because I would've been so interested it's in this seeing one. that. Oh, we could do that too. Um, yeah. It's this one, it's that one. Oh my god, the makeup is insane. Like, I love your makeup. Like, these are my eyeshadow kits. I live for them. 
Eyeshadow kits are everything. But you can't use these in jail, right? Um, no, you can buy them in, you can buy them in prisons, but you can't buy them in, um, the county jail. See, this is part of the Oh my makeup. gosh, it's like a full, you're like a professional makeup artist here. <laughs> this is like part of the makeup. Oh my gosh. And it goes like all the way down, like eyeshadow kits and everything. That two airbrush kits. <gasps> is that what this is right here? Um, no, no, that, that's actually, that's a torch, but, um. A torch, yeah, so I Yeah, thought. um, this one back here is full of makeup too, the pink one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I just sit here and do my hormone shots and start my day.